Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map FTP servers in the Windows Explorer. This is not exactly the same as mapping drive letters. It's mapping shortcuts, more or less. You'll see what I mean in a second. Now, what you first need to do is map a location. And the way we do this is by clicking Computer and then Map Network Drive. If you don't see that for whatever reason, you can hit the Alt key on your keyboard. This brings up the menu bar at the top of the Windows Explorer. You can click Tools and then Map Network Drive. It's the same thing. When we're on the Map Network Drive screen, there's a link that says Connect to a Website you can use to store your documents and pictures. Click that. It brings up the Add Network Location Wizard. Click Next. There's only one option here, so click Next again. And what we do here is we type in a network address. I'm going to be using the Mozilla Foundation's FTP server as an example. Mozilla, as you know, are the people that brought you the Firefox web browser. So I'll click FTP colon slash slash FTP dot M-O-Z-I-L-L-A dot O-R-G. This is a public server. It does not require any specific username or password. You can log in anonymously and click next. And there is a checkbox for logging on anonymously. If it was an FTP server where it requires a username and a password, you could uncheck this and put in a username, and there will be a section after that where you can put in your password. And I click Next, and then you can title it whatever you want. The default name is the network address, ftp.mozilla.org. Click Next, and then it says you've successfully added it in, and then it asks you if you want to open it when you click Finish. Sure. Click Finish, and then it opens it up. And this is actually the Mozilla web, uh, excuse me, Mozilla FTP server. Let me close that for a second. I can close this. And you'll notice on the left side here, I have ftpmozilla.org under computer. I click it, it accesses the network, and there's pub, which is the public folder. Let's just say for the moment I wanted to see every single release of Firefox there ever was, or if I wanted to download an old version of it. So what I do is uh, I happen to know that's under pub and then uh, Firefox right here. And then releases. And then there they all are. From point version point 0.8 all the way to version, what are they at, 3.6? Yep, 3.6 beta 5, which is the latest version at the time of this recording unless there's another version that I'm not aware of. But if I wanted to get, say, version uh, 1.5.0.12, I can double-click that. And then I'm using the Windows operating system, so I double-click on Win32. And then I choose the English US version, which is EN-US. And there it is. And then I can just... Uh, drag and drop it, well, just to show you, just drag and drop, and it is downloading it right now, and that's it, there is the uh, old Firefox 150.12, so let me just delete that, okay, so now we have our FTP server here, if you want to remove it, you do not go to uh, the map network drive and disconnect. You don't have to do that. This is a shortcut, remember, not a, exactly a map network drive, because as you notice, there is no drive letter. It's just a shortcut. To get rid of it, right click, make sure, let me bring this up so you can really see it. Right click and delete. And since you want to remove this to the recycle bin, yes, I do. And now it's gone. Just remember, it is not the same as a map network drive. It's a shortcut to an FTP server is what it is. And uh, on a final note, if you're logged in and it's a, a private FTP server and you want to upload and download files from it, all you have to do is open it up and then drag and drop. That's all you have to do is a drag and drop. Um, yep, that's about it. Uh, oh, one other thing. I, I don't think you can directly edit from FTP, not in this fashion anyway, 
but you can download local and then do your edits and post it back to the server. So if you wanted to go in there and just right click a file and edit it or something like that, it may work with certain types of files, but it's pretty much safe to say that in order to do this, you would actually have to download it local first, do your edit, and then post it back. That's the way it's done. That's it. Take it easy.